Soon, the galaxy will be remade. The Jedi and the Republic will die. Remember, there can only be two. We are back with another episode of Always Two There Are. Today we'll be discussing and breaking down the new trailer for Star Wars The Clone Wars. It's final season, 12 years in the making. It's going to air on Disney Plus starting February 21st. 12 all new episodes. Raging Ren and I cannot wait to talk about this trailer. We cannot wait to watch this show. It will cross over with our favorite Star Wars film, Revenge of the Sith. And let's get into it, guys. Hope you tune in. Hope you enjoy our discussion. And like many of you out there, big Clone Wars fans. And we can't wait to see how it's going to go down. How it's going to end. Alright. Let's talk some Clone Wars. Here we go. We've both seen the trailer multiple, multiple times. Yep. Seen reactions to the trailer. Yep. Stuff like that. Let's talk about it. Um... Best animated show to ever hit the planet. I think it's my favorite TV show ever. TV show, yeah. Are well, you, yeah, you, if you want to consider... Well, like, yeah. Car- Cartoon Network, you want to consider a TV show? Yeah. Just TV series, I guess. <sighs> it's, so, it's so good. Everybody knows that. You know, we're not speaking for the first time here. But um, it's so refreshing just, just to see all these characters back again. Ahsoka, Maul, Anakin, Obi-Wan... We are at the brink of Revenge of the Sith. And then going into Revenge of the Sith, and then maybe a little bit after Revenge of the Sith. That's probably what I'm, like, most excited about, is timeline and how this is gonna go. Yeah. Uh, like... There's uh, so much. So much breakdown. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. So what do you want to start with? Maul? Yeah, we can start with Maul, because that's how the trailer starts, is with his, uh... He's monologuing. So, um... I guess the biggest question for me out of Maul is, like, how much does he know about this? Yeah. How much, like, the master plan, Sheev's master plan. Uh, he knows some, well, from, because I just rewatched the, the Maul episodes where he gets introduced, so he comes back with Savage. He says, oh, the Clone War has begun, so it, it's yeah. begun. So yeah. he knew about the Clone War. He knew that plan. Whether he knows about the chips, or maybe, maybe he does. Like, the plan. He literally says the plan in the trailer. The plan. Which could either be that or it could be something with the Siege of Mandalore. Maybe just him taking over. Yeah. I mean, I th- I think it's Palpatine. Uh-huh. But then that's why he's trying to take over Mandalore. Because he wants to be in a position of power when the galaxy, you know, goes, goes to, to crap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. For when, you know, all the chaos ensues and the Empire rises, he wants to have some sort of a yeah. platform. And he is. Which He's... will, yeah, transition into Crimson, Crimson Dawn. Dawn. Yep, so. Um, yeah, Maul versus Ahsoka. Probably the finale and end yeah. game of, um, you know, one of the last episodes. Uh, we, we already know Siege of Mandalore is going to be the last arc. Yeah. Um, and I guess we just found out, you told me that Bad Batch is going to be... The first yeah, arc, the so first, episode one's yeah. Bad Batch. First episode is called The Bad Batch, then a week, a week later, A Distant Echo, yeah. which I've seen those episodes already. <laughs> yeah. Just now so, animated, because <laughs> they I, released them all on Star Wars. They did. Well, I've seen go. clips, like actually Star Wars released them, right? Yeah, it was on StarWars.com. It yeah. was that, and then the Utapah arc, which is another yep. four episodes where everyone and Anakin go to Utapah, mm-hmm. and they they kind of figure out the uh, crystal crisis. Like, there's a huge green kyber crystal that... Yes. The Emperor wants. No, I didn't see that. Palpatine. I saw the scene Anakin Obi Wan, I think, by a campfire yeah. where Anakin's actually talking about Ahsoka. Yeah, that is like it's so good. That's like I'd love to see something like that. Yeah, yeah. some other way. Like if they could rework that somehow. True. Or maybe just when Ahsoka comes back and like Anakin gives her the three hundred thirty second. Like yeah, there could be some sort of a moment there before. Yep. So I always thought it was the five hundred first, but then yeah, I read it's three hundred thirty second. Yeah. So. Because he's well, got the final vote first yeah. on Coruscant. At least from what Dave has said about his Siege of Mandalore notes back in Celebration, like, I don't know, 2016 or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like, 
most of the 501st... No, Anakin gave Ahsoka part of the 501st. Of the and they just kind of rename it, I guess? Renamed it into her battalion, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And repainted the helmets, and so awesome. Maul is fighting them. Like, they're going to Mandalore yeah. with Maul. Yeah. He's I mean, with, with forcing with Ahsoka debris into them. And Bo-Katan, yeah. Yeah. So, that is awesome. I can't wait for that. Let's just talk about Ahsoka's look. Yeah. Um, we can talk all the, all the looks. All, all, the, looks. all the looks, yeah, okay. Start so, with Ahsoka. Ahsoka, just because the the um, I think the show and obviously the trailer is so focused on Ahsoka, and is gonna be so focused on Ahsoka, because um, this is her like homecoming. It, she is the main character of like people like to see it's Anakin and and Obi Wan, which to a certain degree it is, but Ahsoka is like you know, she's in the yeah, center of the poster. The, <laughs> yeah, because the show made her. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and transformed her, and I heard somebody say that. Um, she had she has one of the best character development in yeah. all of Star Wars and yeah I believe it. Yeah. I mean from Ahsoka season 1 snippy snips to <laughs> snippy snips. the savage we get cutting off death watch's head like yeah. you yeah something along that line. But um I'm really starting to dig these blue sabers. Yeah. Um I was thrown off about them. Something with something with her sabers and then her outfit she looks a little older she's like the blue on her lekus yeah um it's yeah I'm, they're longer too the leku they're longer too like and she's got her headband or whatever with like the buttons or something like that because i was at celebration when they re- when they revealed that she had the blue sabers and i was working at celebration in uh chicago and I saw someone with a poster, and it was the poster. Oh, with the fire in the back? With the fire in the back, and there's two blue lightsabers, and I was so confused. I was like, is that poster just, like, not done? Like, <laughs> why are they not green? <laughs> Did you know Clone Wars was saved before you saw that poster? Yeah, Clone, they saved Clone Wars, like, back in, uh... Back in uh, oh, oh oh back in summer yeah, of twenty eighteen yeah. yeah 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 July nineteenth twenty eighteen but I mean the trailer did Best you know the trailer <laughs> yeah that was <laughs> <laughs> dude I rem- I I remember watching it and then my brothers were at their friend's house and they came home and I had it paused and they didn't know anything about it they just knew the tenth anniversary panel like I said something was going down yeah so they came yeah. in and I had it ready for them I was like it. Gu- guys 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 just watch sit down watch this like what like, what what is it what is it what is it and then and then they they showed me. I remember or I showed them. I remember where I was too. I think I was watching somebody live tweet it because obviously they didn't live stream it. Um they didn't live stream the the panel. Uh maybe not at first. Wait, did they? I don't know. No, no, they didn't. No, I don't think no, they no, did no, they didn't. Because so I was watching somebody on Twitter who was at the panel, um, and he was live tweeting it. Not live streaming it, he was live tweeting it, and then Seriously, Mandalore. Seriously, like, yeah, like they're bringing it back. Yeah. Clone Wars is coming back. That's and how I f- I'm like, found is out this too. a joke? Yeah. And yeah. then they showed the trailer. Yeah. And I, the s- I saw the little Mandalore teaser on my on Twitter too. Like uh-huh. I saw, I saw like Clone Wars safe, Clone Wars safe. And I'm like, yeah. freaking out. Like this is this is not real. This is not real. So then yeah. it finally came out. I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I then I had to go to work for like four hours and just like was thinking. Yeah, about you're literally on cloud nine for the rest of the day, the yeah. rest of the week, the rest of two years, <laughs> the rest of two years. Yeah. It'll end in what? May? All the way into this moment, the plan. Oh, the plan. Um, so Soka's okay. look. So Soka's look. Awesome. Now, yeah, let's talk about the lightsabers. Yeah. Let's talk about the the difference oh, here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, did you want to say something about the crystals? Yes, I do. Okay, so. I think my head cannon at least do because I don't think we'll see how the lightsabers are blue because we we already saw in the, the previous trailer, um, is that Anakin gives them and she turns them on and she's like, you know, kind of looks at him and he's like, oh, you know, you know, new is better or something like that. Like blue is better. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Um. So I don't. I don't. I doubt it that they'll explain why they're blue, but it would make sense if Anakin. Because Anakin had her lightsabers when she left the Order. And oh, if Anakin yep. took apart her lightsabers and actually touched the individual kyber crystals, the two green kyber crystals, and was thinking about Ahsoka, probably probably crying in his quarters, and then accidentally turned the colors of the crystals to blue. So, yeah. That's my head. That's the only way. If, you can't you can't bond with a crystal by just touching the hilt. 
And it's the, they're the same hilts. Yeah. So he bonded to the crystals, and that's why they're blue. And she's like, and it would be the first that we'd hear about somebody rebonding with a crystal that was already bonded with. So cool. We we need to see that. If more. it was Anakin's doing, yeah, that would be the best. I think it is. There's, like who else would do it? It, you know? it makes the most sense. Yeah, it makes exactly. the most sense. Yes, that little piece, a prologue in the Soka book is going to be a retcon. Yeah. To be honest, I think most of the dialogue is going to be retcon. Yeah. Sorry, E.K. Johnston. Yeah, but... I, I'm, I, I, I read the Ahsoka uh, book um, prelude or, you know, prologue. Prologue, yeah. Um, like prequel pl- prologue, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, about the Siege of Mandalore because they thought they'd never make it again. Right. And I wrote down all the dialogue and some of the dialogue is like, Ahsoka's acting kind of a little like snippy to him. Uh-huh. Like you're only half a Sith. She yeah. says that. And I I kind of want some of that, though. Because it's too. still young Ahsoka. It's not like she's Rebels Ahsoka. It's but, still young yeah. Ahsoka. Taunting. They taunt yeah, each other. It's, it's literally saying she's Maul taunting said, like, taunting you're her. here without your master. Yeah, they left you here. You know, yeah, yeah, they don't exactly. They care about you. They, they threw you away. I dig that. Especially because in Part 2 in Rebels, you know, it's Maul running away again, Lady Tano. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. Yeah, and he's calling her Lady Tano and... yeah. I he's like even he says like you know, Skywalker sent you to you know you know yeah do your... it's it's just mocking it, it's what Maul does but it's it's awesome I, I just I want that because I hate canon conundrums I hate like I but it's gonna happen because Dave did not think that the Clone Wars is coming and I'm I'm curious like who brought it back like did he ask Disney specifically okay the fans want Clone Wars back can we do it and then they were like sure go ahead or was it Captain Kennedy like Dave. We can do it now. Do you want to do it? I think that might actually be it because I, I, I think he might have said that. I think Kathleen asked him like if he if he was willing to bring it back. Maybe it's it was up to him. Yeah, maybe it was something that was that was kind of unsaid for a little bit. Yeah, and then finally somebody either you know Dave or Kathy popped you know the question yeah. or put it out in the air. And uh, hey, hey Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Uncle Bob, <laughs> Uncle Bob Iger. Um, but it's coming back. We yeah, got it. Twelve yeah. episodes, but hey, it, it's it's they're all action packed. It like, doesn't it's matter. Be. It, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. The trailer is insane. Yeah, yeah, the trailer itself is insane. I, like with twelve episodes, you can't waste a moment. I don't think a yeah. moment is going to be wasted. No. But um, I was just thinking about the prologue that we were talking about. That was the first chapter of Star Wars canon I've ever read. Because Soko was the first book I read. That's crazy. So, The Siege of Mandalore, yeah, that was the first. And you've read all of the books. And now, now I've read all of the Except books. Except for Heir to the Jedi. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm halfway through that. I, I, yeah. It's okay. fine. I still didn't finish Canto Bite. Story okay. for another time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's. So, I've I've been down for The Siege of Mandalore ever since I heard about it at that panel with. I think it was like yeah. D. Bradley Baker, um, Ashley Eckstein, yeah. and Dave Filoni. Yeah. Um, I think Pablo was there too. Pablo might have been there too. I, I think, think that was. was one of the celebrations that it was across the um, sea, like um, Europe or something like that. Or, Somewhere yeah. in Europe. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. either way, it's close. It's We're almost there. February twenty first. All right, let's get to uh, Anakin and Obi Wan's looks. Okay. Which which basically just watched episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Oh my god! I I I because I I waited yes. s- for so long. I and knew. Then, I knew oh. it was going to be, like, from seeing those unfinished um, episodes online where Anakin did have the very long hair, I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, we, like, that was the one thing I wanted in Star Wars, for them to bring back Homer's for just finish those episodes. Those episodes look so cool, like, Anakin with his black attire yeah. from Revenge of the Sith, his long hair, yeah. which would have been so cool, and... He's not wearing gloves. If you watch the Clone Wars again, you, some people probably not notice. My brother literally was freaking out the other day when I actually told him that like Obi Wan is wearing black gloves the entire show, Anakin is wearing gloves the entire show. You don't see his actual hand that he actually still has. You're right. You but in this trailer you see that hand. You see Obi Wan's hands. There are Rose said no glo- no gloves. The robes are wavy. Yeah. Everyone's wearing some robes. So it's awesome. I'm, I'm rewatching Clone Wars, but I'm not at that part yet, five and six. But Obi Wan, like I'm not sure about Anakin, but Obi Wan still wears his clone gauntlets, right? Yeah, yeah, all the way to the end. All the way to the end, from from three to six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and finally they're off now. So like, okay. it's Revenge of the Sith, like straight up. Oh, We're going into the movie. Wait. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna going to be in the movie. Into the movie, and then that could we could transition that to. That's pr- uh, all the Jedi looks are updated. They don't really yep. have their clone armor anymore because it's yep. it's the Revenge of the Sith now. Yep. Windu looks awesome. Um, 
go to Maul looks pretty much the same. Um, is the lightsaber though? Oh yeah, we can talk. About, okay, he yeah, upgraded his yeah, lightsaber. Talk about the lightsaber. Okay, yeah. so you see half the hilt, which he um, still had from Phantom Menace. Yep. So Obi Wan chopped in half in in that movie. Yep. Um, he got beat by Palpatine. The that's the last we saw of him in the Clone Wars series. There's a comic, Son of Dathomir. Where he actually gets freed by Gar Saxon and the Shadow Collective. Read it before February twenty first. Read it. Yes, read Star Wars: Son of Dathomir. It's canon. It's the only Dark Horse comic that's canon, but Marvel republished it. Yeah. So Marvel a has years ago. Yeah, Marvel has a paperback. It's perfect. Um, it literally would have been Clone Wars episodes. The the same planet that we see in the trailer, I'm pretty sure is in that planet. Is in that is uh where the outer 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 rim sieges. Mm-hmm. I think that is in. Um that place the 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 comic yes um you see what happens to talzin you, you'll see how maul escaped the emperor because I, I don't know if they'll touch on that in this season because yeah. there's not there's not time for that yeah and that's already canon it already maybe, happened maybe just like a mention yeah or, two or like a flashback Maul's monologuing yeah exactly that's what i'm thinking it's gonna happen like yeah, yeah you know you saved me like tar- he's talking to garth saxon which yeah. definitely gonna be in the show yep about, you know, you saved me from... Kind of like your second in command, the leader of Shadow Collective. Yeah. Um, Mandalorians transferred... Or, trans, like, you know, Mandalorians, like Mandalorian terrorists that are yeah. followers of Maul. Yeah. They have the horns they have on the their... Red, uh, they, they painted their um, suits red yeah. and then the horns. Yeah. Which you kind of see the long horns from... I think it's Gar Saxon in the trailer. You kind of yeah. see the top helmet with the jetpack yeah. clones coming in. Yep. But, um... But so okay, so the half is the mall is mall saber, mm-hmm. and the other half is. So I sent you this. Yeah, yeah I say, sent, you go. I sent this. you this picture of um, somebody who pointed out that I guess the concept art, um, or you know how Clone Wars they'll have at least for the concepts for Clone Wars they'll have the characters and they'll have potential outfits and stuff like yeah. that, and it was Asajj, Asajj Ventress from her Dark Disciple arc. Yeah. Uh, which is now a book, if you didn't know, but it read was it. <laughs> also going to be... Yeah, read that too. Yeah. It's high on my list. Yeah. Which is which was going to be um, an arc. Eight episodes. Eight, ep- eight episodes. Eight episodes. Yeah. So, Asajj Ventress, Quinlan Voss, Dooku, all that. I'm not going to get into it. Um, her lightsaber, she now has a yellow lightsaber in that book, yeah. and she was going to have a yellow lightsaber in those arcs. Yep. But the hilt of that lightsaber is literally the exact same left side of Maul's lightsaber now yeah. in this trailer. In this trailer. So yeah. we're thinking that either they just, you know, plucked from that and you know, just use that design for Maul's other side, you know, done, you know, wipe your hands, that's it. Or somehow he has that. Somehow hilt. that's actually part of the story that it was yeah. Ventress's, which Again, like I'm asking you, I gotta read the end of Dark Disciple. I don't remember what happened um, to her lightsaber. I think he might have just taken the lightsaber from Ventress's. It would be it would make sense because that has Ventress's story has canonically happened. We won't go into what happens in Dark Disciple, the book, but if you haven't yet read it, um, I doubt they'll touch upon really anything in the new season. Yeah, it doesn't really have part of. It's not part of Season of Mandalore or like the main stuff. Yeah, it's you know. not part of what the story they're trying to tell. Yeah, exactly. But it's cool if it is, because she actually got that lightsaber on the black market. Just a little tidbit. That yellow one, which is cool. Yeah. Um. So, okay. Revenge of the Sith time. Yeah. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. Yeah, so let's talk about that whole table. Great care we must take. War, was, war conference. Yes. Um... It's Revenge of the Sith. We're, Revenge we're in Sith. Revenge yeah. of the Sith yeah. at this point. Not a lot of people... I was watching a lot of reactions. Not a lot of people picked up on that. And everyone's like, I just wanted to like bleed into Revenge of the Sith. No. You see Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> you, it's in the trailer. Like, I sense a plot of the story. That, yeah, that is straight from the movie. We have to see Order 66. It's the Siege of Mandalore. Yeah. So you have to be at least halfway through Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. That's already canonically confirmed. Exactly. Order 66 is going to go down on Mandalore. Yeah. That's and what I'm saying. That's what the last shot is. We'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah. But um, the the war table, yeah. So yeah. we got um, Mace Windu, Yoda, um, Bakara, Bly, yeah. um, Deva Balaba, her Padawan, Caleb, Caleb Doom, 
Canon Jarrus, Star Wars Rebels. Formerly Canon. That's awesome. Now just Canon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, he's, you know, I think that's the... That's it. That's, what that's we're the see Easter of him. egg. Yeah. 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 Um, but if you'd like to see more of him, maybe what happened during Order 66, there's a two-part comic, Canon, The Last Padawan. 12 issues. Really good comic. Yeah. Recommend it highly. Goes into Order 66. Yeah. And actually, like, what can, like, what happens? Like, yeah, no, I was going to spoil it, but okay. just nice. read it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Um, so I think like Ellie Sakura maybe. Yeah, I think she was there, there too. And then Kai Addy. Yeah. Um, um, it's cool to see, like, cause in the in Revenge of the Sith, uh, Mace says that like live, so he's not hologram. Like you're mm-hmm. in the room with him. Yes. And in the trailer, he's in a hologram, so you're in a room with someone else yeah. on that table. Same thing with Yoda, cause Yoda's with Mace, cause it's right after he sends Anakin to go check on the Chancellor. I'm pretty sure. To go check on... He's ch- talking with Anakin right mm-hmm. before he says that. Anakin leaves the room, and That's then right. he says, yep. I sent the plot to, to destroy the Jedi. So, and I think Keanu Mundy's already on my Guido. Yeah, um, probably. And that would make sense why Commander uh, Bakar is there. And uh, Yoda hasn't left for Kashyyyk yet, I guess. Not. Nah, yeah. Yoda's still in yeah. that room with Mace. Yep, yep. And then Aelis Kira could be on oh, Felucia. Wait. No, I think he is on Kashyyyk. Yeah, I think he is. On he Kashyyyk. is. He's yep. a hologram in the movie too. Yeah, it's just Mace that yeah. we see live. Yeah, Yoda's on Yoda's on Kashyyyk. Yeah, Kiari Mundi's on Magido. Yeah, that's probably on Felucia. He's on Felucia with Bly, and Mundi's with Bakara. Yeah, and then Depalaba. I forget what planet they're on. Um, Collar. Collar. Okay. Yeah. So really cool. So yeah, um, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, which is so interesting. Because now we could, I guess, talk about, um, a lot. Of, I saw a lot of people complaining about, or not complaining, but just, I guess, confused as to why Padme looks pregnant in that shot. Okay, so let's talk about the hologram, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll, okay, <laughs> do you, go okay, I'll go, I'll go. Because I, I know you feel a certain type of way about, about I do, about I do. This. Say your piece first. Okay, yeah. So, first of all, uh, Padme, it, it's a small bump. So, there's two reasons. Two possible reasons. This scene could take place... Like, at the beginning of the, the Outer Rim Sieges, which is, like, months before Revenge of the Sith. So it's, like, Anakin going with his clone legions with Rex and the Bad Batch. They're, like, out. That's that's in the teaser trailer. Like, with them all gathering all the Republic forces, that's the beginning of the Outer Rim Sieges. Like, they're going out the Outer Rim. They're going to wreck some shop. Um, so that's probably, that's probably, like, when he leaves. So he, like, says probably goodbye to her. You know, I probably won't be available for a while. That could be the last time he sees her until Revenge of the Sith, if that's the case. And if she she looks like she is pregnant there, um, she's got her hand on the belly. It's a very small bump. I think Anakin's kind of dumb, so I don't think Anakin would know that she's pregnant. So that doesn't break canon, yeah. if because yeah. he finds out that she's pregnant in Revenge of the Sith. So it's either it's either he doesn't know. Um, she's also wearing the outfit that she actually dies in. She's wearing the outfit, but hey, she could she could like that outfit. No, yeah, no, yeah, you know she's, no, yeah. she's got a lot of outfits to yeah. choose from, but plus. Uh, Canonically, it wouldn't make sense if if that same outfit, that scene was like right before the outfit because he's dark side then. Plus, he visited her after he slaughtered all the younglings. Yeah. So why would he like? What's the hologram about? Yeah, it's not. No, that's not the time. Yeah, it's it's. I agree. The with bump you. is very small. Yeah. So I think it's the start, and like I think we'll see Padme's perspective. Like she just can't tell Anakin yet. Because she doesn't know what's going to happen to him. When she, when, you know, like, mm-hmm. she, he can't have that on his mind when he's out there in the outer room sieges. When she, when he oh, kills yeah. Dooku and comes back, she knows he's safe and that's when she tells him. She's like, Anakin, I'm pregnant. So I think she's definitely pregnant in this scene, but she just doesn't tell him. And I don't, it's a very small bump. He's too focused on her face. She's beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, and focused on the war. Like, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he's not going to realize it. He's, no. I yeah. think, I agree with you. I think it's mostly, uh, it, it's got to be during the Adoram Siege it's the start of it. Yeah. It's before Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Cause I, it, cause it's got to be. Yeah, they're hands, too. Like, it's like... There's no good, place... Goodbye. Yeah, you know? there's no place in it in, in the movie. Yeah. There's no place in it that would make sense. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I agree with you, and I think people just have to chill out yeah. and just wait for the <laughs> it's episodes. It's just a trailer. <laughs> wait yeah. for the episodes. Just a trailer. Didn't break canon yet. <laughs> like, yeah, It's seriously. not going to break canon. Dave is a master, and he's got Sam Witwer by his side, who's a, even more of a master in canon. So, yeah. like, come on. He's got the Lucasfilm Story Group. Like, yeah. they're, they're, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah. People just jump to conclusions. Yeah. The um, Star Wars internet is just... Uh, 
in flames. In flames right now. It's really pissing <laughs> it's me so, off. It's so bad. It's so bad right now. But Clone Wars is saving it for the most part. It will save it. Yeah. It's bringing back what, so. what, what, we, what we, most of us love, at least yeah. all of us love. Yeah, at least most Except for of some people. Can agree with it. One person. <laughs> That's true, too, yeah. Ahsoka's gonna whip Maul, okay? Either way... <laughs> they're both alive, so. Either way, they're both alive, and Spoilers. we both know that. And yeah. we know what happens at the end of Siege of Mandalore. Yeah. Or, at, you know, if they're gonna go through but, yeah. with that. But if anyone's questioning if Ahsoka can take on Maul, Padawan Kenobi took down Maul. So, um, get wrecked. Maul, Maul's <laughs> downside is that he's too overdramatic. Yeah. Ahsoka was trained by the Chosen One. But, Anakin Skywalker is the Chosen One. It's no one else. It's Anakin Skywalker. He's the Chosen One. Yeah. He trained Ahsoka Tano. Yeah. She could take Maul in a fight. Relax. Yeah. It's it's literally no big deal. Yeah. Don't get your Lekos in a bunch. <laughs> in a twist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, what, else, what else we got in here? Yeah, now that that's uh, done, we got a cool Obi-Wan and Mace oh, kind of like... Yeah. I think that fight, that awesome shot of Obi Wan with the music like swelling. The music in this trailer is just bonkers. It's just so good. Yeah, it's probably Star Wars at its best. It's, yeah, it it is. It's like Clone Wars, like like drum heavy, but like also Star Wars oh, in the yeah. background. Like yeah. it's great. Um, yeah, that shot of him in the smoke with the lightsaber ignited and like he's just, like looking around, kind of really angry. Probably just killed a swath of droids. Mm-hmm. That's probably right after that scene with him and Mace. Like yeah. him and Mace. Go probably ham in that scene. That's that's what I'm hoping at least for. Yeah. Because in the 2D series, yeah. Um, Mace literally destroys a whole like battalion of super battle droids. That would be really cool if we kind of see something like that. Like Windu just going ham, and Obi Wan going ham on all of those droids that we see. Oh yeah. yeah and that's yeah. why all the smoke is there. Like they just took down like just a shot of them like in the middle of the rubble, which is like they just took down a whole room of like droids. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I I would uh, I would very much like to see that. Yeah, Maul. Um, let's talk about Maul forcing something. Jesse. Um, he's like, yeah, he he's like reaching out and he's like, it's kind of like pulling a Kylo on yeah. Jesse. Yeah, who's uh, one of the soldiers in the five hundred first. I don't know what's going on really. Yeah, he could be something with the chip. Like maybe he knows something about the chip. It, maybe it could have something to do with the inhibitor chip. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe he wants to, I don't know, wants to see Order 66 for his own eyes or something like that. Yep. He's trying to do something or, but, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, gonna, that's somewhere on Mandalore. Um, and then we get, we get some shots of Admiral Trench or a yeah. shot of Admiral Trench. Which is really cool. Who's Be- probably going to bite it. Yeah. Finally, after not Finally, dying for he's like two half, times. Yeah, well, he's first, more machine now than the, man, actually. The first one was like Battle of Malastare, right? Yeah. That was before the Clone Wars. Well, canonically. Canonically. Yeah. Or like, probably like... The I mean, chronologically. Of yeah. Because, well, because because Battle of Malastare, like, that was mentioned, like, oh, Adam Trench is alive? Mm-hmm. Like, like Yularen and Anakin in Cat and Mouse, which is the first chronological Clone Wars episode. That's the villain in that episode, and then they think yep. they kill him. Yep. And now he's back in the final season. Like, that's yep. Anakin's, like, nemesis. And Anakin's just gonna obliterate him in two Although seconds. I'm pretty sure he was... Wasn't he on Ringo Vinda? Um, when, oh, he was in season yeah, six. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. When... Was it Tipler? I think Tipley died. Uh, I get them confused yeah. so many times. Yeah, yeah, but one of them died. <laughs> Read the South, some Dathomir comic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's for the other one. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh, rip. Either way, uh, he wasn't, yeah, he was in <laughs> that battle, which was awesome. Messed up, okay, yeah. That was season six. Yeah, that was season six. Yeah. That was the uh, start of the fives arc. Yeah. <sighs> All part of the plan. <laughs> All part of the plan. Uh, we were trained by keeper to be keepers of the peace. Um, not soldiers. That's why Ahsoka, part of the reason why Ahsoka kind of left. Yeah, so we're going to see her um, her journey to thirteen level 13, 13 mm. in Coruscant. That's, I guess kind of where she's been chilling. I'm sure we'll see Bo-Katan um, going to search for her, yep. ask her for her help. Um, and these, uh, are they twins? Are they sisters? I, I don't really know. Um, but she befriends twins. Yeah, she befriends these Trace and Rafa Martez. Yeah, she. I, I guess they uh they meet somewhere down in the sewers there. Do you? Cause like we see Obadiah in the trailer. Like we see Pikes in the previous oh, yeah. trailer. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ahsoka fighting Pikes. How? I I think it's like maybe something like Ahsoka gets involved with some spice 
dealing yeah. down in, the, in 1313. That makes sense. Track them to Obadiah with the twins, and mm-hmm. they're, like, fighting because she still little wants to be a good person, you know? Side like, mission? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's... That'll push her a little more. Yeah. Then bo just come in, and she's like, all right, let's do this. Yeah, and then, like, she finishes that, and then bo like, okay. Yeah. Know, come yeah, in, Mandalore. I could see that. It's probably second or third. Well, yeah, it's probably the arc right before Siege of Mandalore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. Which is interesting, because Bad Batch is going to be four episodes. Mm-hmm. Um... The middle four, we don't know. The last four will probably be Siege of Mandalore, if it's four, which it should be. Yep. Um, and then, so it's either another four-episode arc or, like, two two-episode arcs. Or just, like, one-offs. Like, maybe we'll get the Boba Cad Bane thing. Like, yeah. I doubt it. I doubt it, too. Uh, we, we would have seen something like that. So I think the four episodes could be just Ahsoka's arc. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I think all of these arcs... The, that's like the interesting. thing is all of these arcs in the season I think they all bleed into the next and I think they all have to do like because we're getting together. to the end yeah, yeah. The, we're getting we're building to the end yeah exactly um, like Bad Batch and the Outer Rim Siege is leading into Revenge of the Sith yeah. with Ahsoka leading into Revenge of the Sith yeah, yeah. like stuff like that yeah. so will we see the Battle of Coruscant or anything like that or, or... <sighs> that's because it's so in- yeah like that's interesting like because we literally get in the middle of Revenge of the Sith. Like, I sense the plot to destroy the Jedi. So, like, are we going to see some of... I doubt we'll see the Coruscant. I don't think we are. I think Anakin and Obi-Wan, we're going to see them leave. Yeah. To... Uh, we might hear of news that the Chancellor's been kidnapped. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So. Because they did that in the 2D animated version. Did they? I've never seen that. Yeah. Like, two, like it it kind of lines up. Like, they, you actually see the Chancellor being kidnapped by Grievous. Mm. And then... They head off, and then the, the literally the show ends with it like it's a wide shot it coming pulling back with all the ships over course on, and that's how it ends. Oh, okay. and Windu force forces Grievous's chest, and that's how he gets the cough. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, I, I do know that because yeah. he has the cough <laughs> already. Yeah, I do know that. So, uh, what else we got here? Ahsoka on the bridge when she's like touching her head. Okay, yeah. So you think it's? I don't. I, I think. Sh- I think she's. Uh, I think she sensed something. Something because it can't be Order sixty six because Order sixty six goes down on Mandalore. Mm. So it's either like right after Order sixty six, but she's on a bridge of a big ship. So it's in like the last bef- shot. It's like before Order sixty six. Yeah. So <sighs> I don't know. It, it really know. could be anything. Yeah. It could just be like, what am I doing? Why am I back? Like I'm back in it, this. It just looks like. Like, she feels like something in the forest. Oh, of like, course, yeah. It's crazy. Because, you know, Yoda does his, you know, he touches yeah. his head on Kashyyyk. When the Death Star blows up, Obi-Wan touches his head. Like, it, it's it's a great loss. Yeah. Or something like that. And people can feel that. Um, but, like, the last shot of, uh, looks like Ahsoka, she's on the hollow table, um, and the doors it looks like she's locking her yeah and like a semi-conscious rex yeah in uh rex is like holding his head he probably just in is either room. fighting the chip or trying to take it out or something yeah. like that and yeah soak is saving yeah yeah, yeah I, I don't think because in the rebels in rebels i'm pretty sure rex says that he didn't participate in order 66 so the chip is either out by then or um, he, he, yeah, it's something that we'll yeah, see. He's fighting. Yeah. I think also, cause like with the mall fight, like in the Ahsoka book, I'm not going to get into the, like the details of like how, like what happened really, what specifically happens, but pretty much Ahsoka picks Rex over getting mall. Yes. Like that's why he says in rebels, you know, leave, like leaving so soon lady Tano. And then she's like, if you want to finish your fight, you have to go through him. And then Kane comes out of nowhere. Um, so she picks she picks this Rex to save Rex instead of going after Maul. Yes. And that's and then Maul escapes and then Ahsoka obviously escapes. Yep. Um I like I you know, the plot thing, we like we know what happens because they've said it like on panels and it's in the Ahsoka book. She's in Rubbles, like we know what happened. It's just a journey getting there. And it's the Revenge of Sith crossovers that we're really excited about. Oh yeah. And also like Dark Anakin, like getting closer to that version. Because yeah. he's just angry in this trailer. Like, she's like, you know, we're supposed to be keepers of peace, not soldiers, and he's just wrecking droids the next yeah. shot. Like, yeah. He's. I can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite shot in the trailer? It's gotta be the wide shot of Maul and Ahsoka. Yeah, I think it's that. 
but I'm gonna go with Padme and Anakin touching hands. Padme and Anakin, very close. Because that is, I very didn't close like. I was worried, like most people, that Padme would maybe be in the season. Yeah. But just to put her in the trailer is just like, yeah, she's she's gonna be in there. Maybe just for that scene, but mm-hmm. like, this is key I'm into Anakin's that, yeah. turn. You know, like that's gonna be the last time he sees her before Revenge of the Sith. Probably that's what I in my head. I think that it's perfect for that to yep. happen. And that's yeah, why I they're touching too. hands because. Like I won't be back for months, you know. Yeah, it would be cool if we like touching like, hands across the stars. Yeah, <laughs> from across the stars. I hope they play across the stars. Oh, I'd, I'd die. Um, I think also it would be cool. I don't think it's gonna happen. It would be cool if like there's rumors going out that Anakin died in a certain battle that we see, and yeah. that's how Padme thinks he's dead. Because yeah. Padme says there are rumors that that you that you were killed or whatever. Yeah, I'm fine. You know. Yeah, yeah. So that would be cool to see. That would be cool. We don't know. That wow, that would that would that'd be pretty deep. Oh, so awesome. <sighs> Siege of Mandalore just looks so epic. Yeah. So many and troopers. I can't wait for the Ray Park mocap. Mm, um, yeah. I can't wait to see that in oh, action. It looks so good already. It just really him does. spinning the saber like that yeah. is he's got the classic Ray Park Mall stance, stance yep. which it didn't hit me at first. I was just like, Oh, it's Maul. But that that's why, because no. it's just Maul. Like <laughs> that that hit me at first. What didn't hit me was he has another side to his blade. Yeah. Cause I'm I'm so used to the Rebels Maul yeah. who already has double blade. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Like he didn't have double blade in Clone Wars, right? No. He just has he the single back. and then he has a dark saber, which he like maybe we won't see because he has the dark saber. He has it at he this does. moment. So he's just not using it to fight Ahsoka. He does, yeah. Or he's got it. He you know. used it in Son of Death Mirror. Yeah. And yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see. Every choice made has led to this. Yep. I think uh, that about sums it up. I think so. I've watched this trailer so many times. Uh, Probably won't stop until it comes out. You and me both, I think that was the perfect. That trailer was so good. Especially for Star Wars to not even, like, give us a a proper version of the first teaser in Celebration. Yeah. Um, Yeah, it's just weird. Like, this is a completely new... So official good. trailer and uh yeah this this is it the music is perfect this is it i gotta i watched revenge of the set from beginning to the end the day before the trailer was released that's weird i know i oh, know yeah, maybe yeah. i should have just watched it all along <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we would have got a lot sooner <laughs> but i love the um when it says like and uh, when it's the end of the groundbreaking series, and then the next shot is the groundbreaking from an explosion. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Like, you yeah. have to pay, Star be paying Wars attention. Fandom, yeah. circa 20. It's so 20. awesome. But I'm just so excited. This is my Star Wars. I can't wait. Only 12 episodes. This is prime time. This is prime. As in prime timeline. What are you saying? Revenge of the Sith. Oh, yeah. Is the nucleus of all of Star Wars. It really is. It's the... It's the climax. Like, love it or hate it, it is probably the most important time. Yeah, well, it's, it's the you climax. If yeah. you don't get Revenge of the Sith, you don't get the original trilogy. That's true. That's true. So, That's true. This, this, is, this is everything. It's, you don't get the sequel trilogy. Yeah. So, it's awesome. So, it's I'm, awesome. Sh- I'm sure we'll be back to talk about when it actually does come out. Yeah. Probably, um, probably won't do episode by episode. We still have yet to discuss The Mandalorian. We do, right. I want to do an episode about the Star Wars comics that are coming out post Empire. Okay. So. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Again, thank you everyone for tuning in to us. Hope you enjoyed our discussion. We're very excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. Uh, follow us on Twitter at always two there one. Follow us on Instagram, uh, Vader Contagion. I think we have a YouTube channel. Most recent videos aren't out yet. At always two there are. Um, but again, guys, thank you for joining us and may the force be with you. Hashtag Clone Wars Saved.